to the prosper. He ain't just said that. He truly wants you to prosper. Amen. And be in good health. As your soul prospers. But you got to get that level of faith. So I'm almost done. You know when you're seeking the kingdom, when you're committed to see the advancement of God's work. You know how? That means that when you see God working, that's when you are also. You, you ask, what can I do in the kingdom? Y'all don't hear me. How may I assist you in the kingdom? Because it takes all of us to build the kingdom. Come on. Because the real kingdom is going to come down and going to dwell in Jerusalem. <coughs> it's it's going to dwell on earth. There's going to be a time when the bride will come and she will sit. But right now you have the opportunity to build. You know you're seeking the kingdom when the kingdom's priorities are more set in order than yours. They take precedence. I just got a question. Is there anything too hard for God? No. I mean, really, is there anything too hard for God? No, Come on, I, I need some switch. Is there anything too hard for God? No, no. Can I, am I talking to people that's listening? Oh, yeah, yeah. See, see, wait, some of you think that it's too hard for God. No, you, your, your little situation is bigger than God. No, no. But is there anything too hard? Ask your neighbor, is there anything too hard for God? No. God works in the impossibilities. He works in the impossibilities. He makes things happen. This is where favor comes in at. You don't know how you arrived on the sea, but every time a giant falls, another giant has to rise up. Oh, y'all, you're going to talk to me. God asks Abel, is there anything too hard? I know you've been toiling in this thing. For 90 years. Yes. Mm. And, I, and I made you a promise. Mm. See, God done made some of you a promise and you still stuck because it ain't manifesting. Mm. And God said, Is there anything too hard mm. for me? Mm. I know you old. I know your wife old. I know it's hard to conceive at this age, but the miracle is in God. Yes, yes, yes. Your miracle is in God. Yes. Not in what you have, but it is in God. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. The Lord says, He's not like me. See, man, a lot to you. Amen. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me. Amen. Man said, I'm going all the way with you. Come on now, come on. Step on me, told me. Oh, y'all. Man, to tell you, I'll never leave you. I won't forsake you. I'm going. I'm going all the way with you. We gonna do this together. We gonna we gonna hold hands and we gonna do this together. But man, to leave you. But God is not like man. God is not a man that he should lie. Nor is he the son of man that he'll ever repent. Whatever God has promised you, he shall bring it to pass. But you don't tore your credit up. And you ain't got no money. 
So you need some favor. Oh, Amen. Amen. You need some favor. See, favor will take you places that money can't get you to. That's right. Favor will allow you to engage some people you never know. Favor will cause you to get a yes when you know it should have been no. That's what favor does. And some of you need to start walking by faith and allow God to put his favor on your life. How long you gonna catch a ride? I know y'all. I know y'all don't wanna talk to me. I know that your door. How about how long? You gotta step up. It ain't about what you got. It's about what God is trying to do. He's now trying to prosper you and to cause you to be blessed. But you got my hands tied up. See, I don't preach these kind of messages, but it must be the right one. Cause he want to talk about your money. He want to talk about your money. He want to talk about your money. He wants you to learn to sow your seed so that the canker worm can stop eating it. Somebody been robbing God for so long. How have I robbed you, God? In my tithes and in my offering, I want to bless you, but you won't keep the commandment. You pay your tithes this week, don't Shadow heal people. You ain't even got a touch of her, but you got so much of 